Welcome back to our episode 16 podcast. This is Savor the Flavor, part two. We had so much fun. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We kind of like going to Flagler. Yeah, we, we do. You know, <laughs> not a chore. But pretty soon we're going to run out of spots. Oh, we can do them again. Yeah, yeah I know. We'll be moving on. I know. We'll be moving on around New Smyrna. So we really appreciate you guys tuning in every week and watching us. Um, we hope that the information that we're giving you, you guys find valuable. If there's something else that you like <laughs> want us to shoot or something that um, piques your interest and you want us to get more into that, just let us know because we'll hit that on our next stop. So what is that? Tuesday morning, whatever day it didn't rain. Jesus, this rain has been crazy. It has been. All yeah. week. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. I absolutely hate it. But whatever. So we met. It could have been worse. The hurricane hit. Yeah. We didn't get it. Well, they're so. hitting hit over in New Orleans right now. That sucks. So Diana and I met at Luma. You guys must have seen Luma on our last podcast. Um, but we actually had the opportunity to sit there and have some coffee. And I had an excellent um, bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. And when I caught her there, she was actually sitting on a swing. I know. So they had these little ch chairs. I think they made them, but they're like swing. They're swing. So you can sit there and swing. And yeah, I had my laptop. I was working. It was cool. Yeah, it is. I think it's very cute. And I think before we were looking at it like, oh my gosh, it's so hot out. Yeah, but it was nice that day. So it's going to be really nice in the fall and Absolutely. Or, you know, early in the morning, mm -hmm. you know, and that's what they kind of, you know. And when there's a little bit of a breeze. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. So that Definitely. Was... And their coffee was fantastic. Yeah, it I got was. the witch's brew. And I had just a regular black cold brew, and it was fantastic. So. And that's kind of the measure of good coffee. I'm going to say the. Cold. Cold. Brew? Like, well, black. If you can drink it black oh, yeah. and it's good and not bitter, like. Because you can put a lot of stuff in coffee to make it good. It was awesome. But their witch's brew was like, it wasn't black. It had some flavoring to it, but it wasn't sweet. So I like that. Oh, if I like really sweet coffee, they have other stuff. Well, I'm off the yeah. creamer. So yeah. I'm telling you, it was really, really good. Awesome. So that's where we started. Did we show them the video? And then a lot of things were kind of closed when we got there. Because we were there a little early. Yeah. So the next place that was on our stop was Flagler Pizza. Yes. And they were closed. But I can honestly say I love Flagler Pizza. And I'm not a big pizza eater. But I'm usually eating it late at night. Yeah. So I've never had like Flagler Pizza when I haven't been drinking. I have the funniest <laughs> Flagler Pizza story. So we were in New Smyrna late one night. I mean, it was late. It was Wendy, her ex-husband, a bunch of us, and we stopped at Flagler Pizza, right? Well, the ex-husband, he was supposed to be getting the pizza for us, right? Well, there were so many people out there. Next thing we know, we can't find him. We're like, where the hell did he go? Where the hell did he go? <laughs> well, we're like, well, forget him. We're just, we got to get back to the condo. Because, I mean, it was like 2 o'clock in the morning. We get back to the condo. He is sitting on the ground with the pizza box, right? Right. So we go inside. We go to eat the pizza. I open it up, and I'm like, what kind of pizza place would only put toppings on half of the pizza? Well, what had happened was he was sitting there so drunk that he went sideways <laughs> out to the side. So I was happy with my plain cheese, and then Wendy got all of her nasty onions and peppers and all that stuff. But it was really good. But that was my, that's my funny that's flag. Hilarious. Yeah, that's that my is, funny flag. You know, pizza. Uh, pizza. So there's, what's the down, Planet Pizza downtown Orlando? Like, I had never been there. Uh-huh. And one day I told my son, he was little, and he's like, where do you think the best pizza place is? I said, oh, my gosh, it's Planet Pizza. Really? And we drove all the way to Orlando and got the pizza, and he's like, this is the best pizza. And it was like, <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't. No, it wasn't, but it sure seems like it. <laughs> so oh, I say so that, but cool. I have heard Flagler's good. I just don't love pizza. So, um, all right. Fart okay. break. Oh, I, I did. And in the video, is it's not very pretty, but I panned over because there is also the taco. Yeah, tin and taco. Tin and taco. And 
they're fabulous. It's and not it's, fancy. No. And if you didn't know it was there, you wouldn't you might know not that go it was in. there. Right. It's a, it's right behind the little gas station or the old gas. The, the old gas station. Yeah. Now it's just I a think little it's store. Like a smoke vape shop. Something. But... Yeah. So right behind there is really good tacos. Like they went over there. It's really good. Like that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that's definitely, and they have inside and outdoor dining. So that's kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah. So our next video features Avenue. I had never been to Avenue before. I have. My favorite thing about Avenue. Uh -huh. Is their dollar oysters at, at happy hour, 4 o'clock? I think it's 4 to 6. Do you know where they bring them in from? Are they local? Do they fly them in? No, I think they bring them in. You think I don't they think bring they're local. Can you get them all year round? But I round? don't know that for sure. Yes. Yeah, then they got to be yeah. flying them in. Yeah. You know, they have to. Um, but they're good, and it's fun, you know. Yeah. And the view is great. We're going to show that. But, well, but let's talk about downstairs. Oh, my gosh. I know, right? I was so in awe of the decor, the ceiling. It was like, oh my God, this place is fabulous. But it has doesn't have a great reputation. It does not. Except for the upstairs, right? Yeah. The upstairs, and we have a video of that as well. Right. Drinks were fantastic. I had a Bloody Mary because it was still early. And I had an Irish coffee and it was still early. So that was coffee number two. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> well, actually, it was coffee number four. But um, the drinks were great. The view up there was was really nice. Uh, I'm so glad we were in there when we were because it started pouring. Yes. Pouring. Yeah. And that's we, why that's why I ordered the drink because it started pouring and yeah. so we're, we're gonna be there a while <laughs> oh so then we uh we went back downstairs and um the service was great there was like there was nobody there. The, the bartenders were so friendly yeah they always nice. are they, oh I, I like it's always good there yeah but I have had so I love their shrimp poppers they're like a jalapeno uh-huh I've had bites of other people's food um but again mostly the oysters is my thing. So, but so what we I ordered, ordered, I didn't, I didn't. Sliders. Yeah. And they were this shrimp and scallop sliders. Sounds really good, right? Um, I thought it was going to be really good. I thought it was going to be big chunks of shrimp and big chunks of scallops, but it was like all mushy and um, it was made with kimchi. Which I just definitely, I did not like it. No, you didn't. I did not like no. it. Yeah. So then you ordered their Caesar. And the Caesar salad was really good. It was huge. So the Caesar was good. But it wasn't nothing fancy. No. Like, I mean, that fancy. Caesar salad, like, I, okay, so my thing is, if it doesn't have anchovies and it doesn't have anchovies in the dressing, it's not a real Caesar. Oh, yeah. But I most people like, would probably. I like anchovies. You know? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. So, um, Avenue. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend. But here's the other thing. When the bartender told us. Like, we asked for recommendations. So I was thinking about this because I was at Hidden Treasures, not Hidden Treasures, North Turn last night. And a lot of times the servers, they won't tell you if it's not good, but they will tell you I would do this. Or I, and he did tell us which sliders to get, and we went. And we ignored it. Yeah, we ignored it. Yeah. So my thing there is they know what's good. And yeah. I'm not going to trash talk any of their well, hopefully they're gonna you know, they'll stay open hopefully they get enough business and their happy hour and their drinks and because it's got such a great upstairs bar yeah you know the whole thing. and i personally i think it's absolutely gorgeous inside one of my friends she said oh gosh we all think it's really tacky i think it's stunning really yeah i just don't see that i think i don't like, either and i love that like because we're going to show some more but yeah like when you really think about such a small street, really. Right. right. And it's got, and even, so then you can go into Canal and some other areas, but there's so many unique atmospheres for dining in New Smyrna. Absolutely. For like one little place. Right. Like everything has and like a, everything. Everything has a different flavor. Yeah. Yeah. It's really cool. So our next stop was the famous Clancy's. So Clancy's is a Mexican restaurant, and it's yeah, been there a there long time, forever. Right. So all of the bricks that are out front of it that have people's names and stuff is that done by, um, is that done by Clancy's? That's, that's, that's all the down flag. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I I couldn't remember. You can get people's like um, yeah 
If you can get them by right. Newsom or in a beach, but you can buy a brick and you can buy a brick and put a, you know and personalize it, which I think is kind of cool. Well, I can't. My memory fails me today. But a couple of our friends have their have their stuff on there. So the great thing about Clancy's is um, I love the ambiance in there. The ceiling is covered in surfboards. Right. How perfect is yeah. that? That's you know. Really cool. I know. It's it's awesome. I love it there. Um, didn't have any food there. No, but we've had food there. I I mean, it's good. It's good. It's not great. Right. It's not great. But it's times. There, if you want fried, though, their chimichanga is awesome. Oh, I really? just don't really I haven't do that, that anymore. Uh, but, and it's really heavy now. So yeah. I haven't had it in years, but that used to be, like, awesome. And the people uh, in there are so friendly. Oh, yeah. it's That's, like, a lot of a big local place. Yeah. Like O'Brien's. Like, and I was so excited when we were sitting at the bar, and I looked up, and they sell my tequila. So, you know, I love yeah. tequila. And I'm not, like, a super, I just like certain flavors of certain tequilas. And they have Escalon. It's not an expensive one. It's not bottom of the barrel. But I'm telling you, next time I go back and it's time for margaritas, I'm definitely going there and having an Escalon margarita. That's awesome. For sure. They do have a good spicy margarita there, too. Oh, they do. Again. It's delicious. You know, no, no spice. Mm-hmm. And I don't really, yeah, I can't do this. I really don't <laughs> like margaritas unless they're spicy as so. well. <laughs> Well, the margarita that they make at uh, Breakers is really good, too. But now I know they have Espelon. I'm going to go there. Awesome. So right beside Clancy's, which is kind of like you walk down this little, not really an alleyway, but there's parking there, stuff like that. Um, Next on our list is Cafe Verde. Yes. Have you eaten there? I have not. I have not either. So... We no, their menu looks fabulous. It does. Yeah, probably my favorite menu of anywhere on Flagler. Right. So we're gonna have to I eat know. some of their food. It was just not, it was not a big food day. No, it was, it was, it was more of a drinking <laughs> day, so we can't really show you the food. But um, but they have lots of gluten free options. I noticed that on their and menu. More healthier. Yeah, food, but good stuff. You know, yeah, like. Um, and they have an inside and an outside And then they dining, have that really awesome nice. outside dining. I mean, and I really like it. Yeah. yeah. So one of the things I was a little disappointed about that we didn't get to do was do the north part of Flagler. Because up there, they have they, the road was under construction. Right. So we couldn't even right. walk down the sidewalks. Right. So we're going to have to do. It's been happening a lot lately. Too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have to do part three. Uh savor the flavor of Flagler because we're going to have to get those ones that are up north right. that are closer to the bridge because they, they yeah so we're, we're definitely going to have to do that so next on our tour was Cool Beans well, Coffee I, Shop I, I love this little coffee place yeah I just there's a couple in New Smyrna but this is de- it's oh my gosh we talk about black if you get black coffee it's delicious yeah yeah, and if, if really you don't good. know it's there, you, you're if somebody doesn't tell you where it is, you're really not going to find it. Yeah, and I really want to encourage people to like detour when yeah, you're detour walking down the streets. streets. Detour those little streets because yeah. one, the small business owners need it, and two, they're really great finds. Yeah. So if you see our little walk, like down that little, oh my gosh, it's it so, cute. so great. And you'll see in the video, Dion, <laughs> she absolutely <laughs> detours. So. There was a cute little shop there. It was fantastic. It's called the Retail Therapy Boutique. Oh, my gosh. It was awesome. Show them your shoes. Show them your shoes. Look at it. She got some new shoes. I did not get some new shoes. I got gifted these. I got gifted. I was late on her birthday gift. So So, they're super cute. They are so me. They are. But they have the best (laughs) stuff in that boutique. So we are going to do a series on boutiques, um, but I just wanted to point it out because the girl in there that helped us was awesome. She was. I mean, and they really had really great quality clothes, and they were not super expensive. Yeah, and at first glance, I was like, "Ah, eh, this isn't really my kind of store." Like, yeah, definitely your like, yes. But then and she's like, "Well, what's your style?" And I was like, "Kind of more hippie, like boho." Yeah, and I mean, look, my right. shoes and some of their outfits definitely. Yeah. They, yeah, no, and it was I really def- cool too because they had yeah. that. Um, like I didn't realize that walking in there, 
you have all those little bed. It's a bed and breakfast. Little Airbnbs. Or yeah. What? Like, I think they're Airbnbs, but they have, um, so they have the coffee shop, the little retail therapy store, and then. And then in the front, the, there's another, mm -hmm. like an actual store, and then they have a kid's clothing store. Right. Uh, you right. know, towards the front of that. So, but that's like, you know, like I and said. Like little one ones and. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Re it's really cute. It would be fun to stay there. Yeah, we loved it. Um, and then the next one on our list was. Do you want to say it? Can you say it right? I I never <laughs> say it right, but Ciao Bella. Ciao Bella. This is the man learning the Bella. language. It's funny because, uh, you know, Jake and Vic they're in Italy right now, and um, I was like trying to learn how to speak Spanish on Duolingo. But now I've switched it to Italian. So um, anytime we go to one of these restaurants, I'm going to try to order for us in Italian. Okay. Because I'm practicing. But I love, I really love what they've done at Ciao Bella. They, when they first started, they tried to do more of like a, uh, an Italian Asian fusion kind of thing. And I'm not I don't a fan. Think I it really were and opening. Oh, you did. Yeah, I was not a fan. No. I love the the owners. They own several restaurants around town. And yeah, more Ormond, like down. And I love that they came over and opened there. And yeah, they have some good food. Their drinks are good. Yeah. Um, and I like how they have the bar set up, right? And so you, and I love spicy, but yeah. I just didn't love the flavor of the sauces. No, when they were trying to fuse it. Ah, uh, yeah, it's so, much better now. So now they've gone just straight up Italian, mm -hmm. which is I think how it should be. Yeah. Right. They yeah. really should do that. So, you know, you guys might be wondering, why are we doing all of these restaurants and showing Flagler? Right. Because Flagler is so unique. Right. You can walk if. You, OK, right now there's 27 houses for sale that you could literally are within a houses or condos, houses or condos yep. that are a five minute walk. Or, like, to, or maybe 10 minute walk to all of these places that we're telling you guys about. And the prices on those go anywhere from 350,000 up to over 6 million. Right. You know, mm -hmm. and, um, and most all of those are in the short term rental zone. So if you're interested in buying one of those and just having a little weekend getaway place in New Smyrna and then trying to either cover your mortgage or make some money, you can rent it out when you're not using it. Right. You know? Your budget, though, because we have people call us and they want to buy, like, 400 and under. You're not going, like, three bedroom, two bath. Yeah. You're not, not getting, getting that. that. You're not getting no. that. In you're not getting no, that. No, you've got to go to at least six, 700. But, like, what? The the lowest, least expensive house was... Five, five something, and it was four hundred and eighty square. feet. It was four hundred and eighty square feet, but it took a lot of tiny houses, cute. so I would be okay. But yeah, um, and you could make and you could rent that one out too mm -hmm. if you just wanted mm -hmm. to have a little weekend getaway. So unique, and it is, um, and just having all the options, like just to, I, you know, I'd rather not eat a meal. I would rather just like go and and, and just, pop and like do app an appetizer or this or that and go. And also, there's no chain restaurants. You know, it's all independent owners. Everybody has their own flavor. Chicken and taco. All they're that. not a chain. They're not a yeah. chain, but they have other Franchise. restaurants. Yeah. They have other. Right. Yeah. So yeah, that's what it's really big. unique. It is. I it's love so it. so friendly and they fun. And everybody. Yeah. And really, when anybody that works in any of these restaurants or bars, I've never had bad service or, I mean, everybody's happy. They live at the beach. Right. Yeah. That's what's been my experience anyways. I was, uh, well, when you were saying that, I was thinking it through and I'm like, I don't think I have either. I really haven't. No. Everybody. The waitresses so, are all friendly. The yeah. bartenders, they serve really good drinks. They're not stingy with their alcohol. <laughs> and they're not stingy with their food. They'll have a either. good core. Yeah, yeah, they do. Absolutely. Yeah. And we're talking about doing a flagler nightlife, but I think we need to like. Yeah. We're going to. Well, we got to finish the north. Because right. we have several restaurants up there, and I'm sure people are like, why haven't you talked about Third Wave or Riverview Grill or anything like that? We are coming. Cafe Heavenly. Cafe yeah. Heavenly. Uh, the Asian Fusion Place. Jake and Vic love that place. 
So next week, when you guys tune in to us, we are going to be focusing on the north end, the north side of Flagler. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So hopefully they'll be done with construction. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll go over the bridge and then come back. There you go. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks Thanks for listening. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell so that you're reminded each time we send out a new video. Thanks again for watching. And isn't it time you started living Florida's good life? Absolutely.